Hi, today I want to show you how to tie a very simple baitfish pattern for example for perch or I use it for sea trout in Denmark or either in Germany. So um, let's start. So if you have the hook in your fly tying wise, um, so you can start tying around some monofilament thread. I think you can use anything else. I would use white if I would use the colored one. So you can see it here, so wind it pretty firm around the sh hook shank and yeah, be sure that you are be a little bit more precise than I. So you see there's a lot of space, so we want to tie some lure flash in or something. So it looks better if you work a little more accurate than I. But anyway, this is just um, to show how the general principle of it is. So here you can see that I use some polar fiber hair, fur, whatever the name is. So I cut that from the piece and then I normally brush this a little bit so that it gets a little slimmer. So I take the very short hair out and I also take the very long hair out. So And then I make a firm tail for the fish. And then I tie it in. What you can see if I tie in tails, so I normally go with two, three windings under the tail. Here you can see it. So that it not tails in during casting the fly. If you don't do that, um, yeah, sometimes you see it tailing in, so which I don't like because then the pattern probably is not doing what it's supposed to do, catching fish. So cut the rest off there. So you need to leave a little space for the head. So you will see later, but um, yeah, tighten it. And then you can see me tying in some flesh. I think this was furabu or something. So you also can use the Mirage Flash or Lure Flash or whatever you find. So there's a lot of nice stuff out so which you can use for it. So I wind it back and then go forward again. You can do a ribbing of it too if you like. So you can use another monofilament to rip it then forward. if secures the fly a little bit but anyway this is not dramatic here it's easy to tie so if if it's done after 10 15 20 fishes so I think you can use a new one but if you like you can do so So then I fix the tinsel here. So now I prepare some green polar fiber. So you uh, another white, sorry. So first it's another layer of white. So I take this a little longer so that the tips probably got a good closure with the tip of the tail. You can see pretty good on the picture in the beginning how I did it. So here you see me brushing off again and then after that's done I take the longest ones out probably and then I tie it in. That's a very easy to use material, I guess, so it's not pretty tricky to use it. Tied in firm, so I always do that.
once this is done, I tie in some crystal flash, you can see. Just because I like it. I don't know if the fishes really like it, but I like it. So that's why I'm doing it. Yeah, and then after that I tie in another color. So in this case I use a very fluorescent green. It looks good also if you use black for example, or I did that in um, blue as well, or I also mix black and blue a little bit. So this is supposed to be for sea trout fishing, so that's why I use blue or either green so that it looks like a herring. So I do the same and then I brush it out. After that's done, I probably adjust the length a little bit at the end. You will see if you do that. And then I tie it in firm and then once that's done, that's pretty simple. It's a really simple fly. I like it. Cut that and then give it a, some more windings around the head to f strengthen it, to firm it. After that's done, so you can do the whip finish. Good, it's done. Now I take some stick on eyes, so which will have glue and glue on the on the head. I just make sure that there's not too many fibers in the head because I will go with some UV glue on it. So you also can use epoxy. So the first eye doesn't work in this case, sorry for that. So I took a new one. So try to align them on both sides so that they look good. So here you can see I'm not satisfied and then, yeah. Probably I lost it and took a new one and then it Got faster. You one and then on both sides. It's uh, good to grab them with a dubbing needle and then you can see them. Beautiful. Okay, once that done, I take my UV glue. And then I glue the head. You also can do that with epoxy. I think what you just need to be aware, so you have more time than you think. So the glue is running around the head, is going in the hair. So this is what we want, because we want a strong fly. So I go around, go under. So just try to make a nice head, so you will see.
So, and if you have too much, you always can remove a little bit of the glue or whatever you use for it um, with your dubbing needle. So you will see me doing that. It's not that I think it's too much, it's not well proportions and I'm not satisfied with the first result because you see here it's going a very bulky head now. So <laughs> here you see it, it's a little bit like a bowl. So I let it go in, wait a little bit, rotate the vise, so and then I do it, I adjust the glue a little bit with a dubbing needle, you see that here, so and then you see it's um, wonderful filling. Yeah, and then I start to fix it with the UV lamp. So you can see, just do it a little time so that it really gets hard. Okay, so the eyes are fixed now and your um, whip finish is fixed, so I like that. So just um, be aware that uh, if you use this UV glues or, or the tough fly glue, um, you normally have a very, let's say, sticky head because there's some adhesive stuff on, on it. So that's why I use this uh, sterilizing pads. So in here you get them in the pharmacy. I don't know, but uh, it's alcohol. You can use alcohol as well. So it's alcohol pads. And then after that, I really use some varnish and paint the head again so that it stays very clear and nice. So be careful a bit. So of course there are some nail vanishes which really, yeah, get a little muddy yellow after a while. So, but the goal here is that it stays clear and nice and shining. Okay, so let it dry and then this wonderful fly is ready for fishing. I hope you liked the video. You will find another picture and the material list at the end of this video. So here you can see how the pattern looks like. So thank you for watching and hope to see you next time. Bye bye.